Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Ashes Treasure and today um, I've been doing so much on the line journal that I haven't shared any of my hauls lately. Um, so I've been so busy, I've been stressing like crazy and my desk is a disaster now. There is ink everywhere. <laughs> um, but um, I thought I'll take a little break and do one of my hauls because I still have these like, it's been almost like two months now and I still haven't been able to share it. And I just been having it in a bag in my room and it's driving me nuts because I keep walking around it. So I thought I'll share it so I can put it away and get a little break from just dressing everything. But um, this was from, oh, it was kind of, I don't know, what would you call it? It's like a store where like, they get a lot of things from Target. Um, this is recollection, so that's from Michael's, that was from Target. Um, and then they get shipped there and then sell them cheaper. Um, there's only one of them that I know, so... Um, but yeah, they had these really nice little flowers and I thought with my baby girl, these would be so cute scrapbooking. There's 24 of them and I got them for 79 cents. I don't know if I can open it. Aren't these so pretty? I thought with that light color, it would look so cute in scrapbooking pictures of my little girl. And they got some more dimensional, so I'll definitely be using these more for scrapbooking. I could use these like on covers of um, albums and uh, junk journals. But I like these flat ones the most. The little roses. Those are really cute. I like the ones with like little, you know, cursive writing on there. It's so sweet. And then these ones I got because of bright colors. I don't have any that are bright colors because normally I'm not into those. But now I was thinking with there's so many photos of my daughter and, you know, her clothes have more brighter colors like this. So I thought this would go with it. And it was only 99 cents for 65 of them. But yeah, they're just like the basic ones. They're nothing fancy. But they did have some that had a little bit of a tie dye to it. I don't know if you could see with that purple. You see? So I thought that was cute. See, there's some like orange on the tip of that yellow one. So I got those, and apparently my little girl, she likes the colorful flowers too, because now she won't let go of them. <laughs> um, but I also got these little roses. I got, um, is this a light pink? No, it should be white. And then um, these red ones, they were only 50 cents there. Those are always nice. These those are the little ribbon roses. And I got the red one because I don't have any red and I thought that would be good for like Christmas and stuff too. And then I always find these embossing folders and die cuts for like 99 cents which is super cheap. And I do have quite a few already from there. Um, but this one was like the little dandelions. I thought oh that would be so cute in a journal. This one's got snowflakes. And then this one's like a fall one with all these really nice leaves and everything. And then this one I thought was cool for on edging of a page. They have like those three different, it's kind of hard to see, but they're going to look like this. Isn't that cute? So that be embossed on the page. And then these I thought would be cool little tags, you know? It has like different things, like this kind of makes you think of a cloud and stuff, you know? I thought it was just really cool for 99 cents, you know? Or I could use these for flaps too. You know, have two of those and just don't cut the edge of this and like have it as a card. And these could be little, this could be a little topper on top of a tag. Oh, you little stinker. She actually got a flower out. You and those little fingers. And then this was a really cool die cut. Um, and it like embosses into it. So it's like 99 cents. So I thought that was really pretty for on cards and stuff. Like if that was Tim Holtz, that would be like easily like 20 some dollars. So yeah, I got all those. And then we stopped at, I think it was Myers, and I saw these really nice index cards, but they were different colors than like the normal one. They kind of had this like fall colors going on. And they were cheap, I think it was like 89 cents or something like that, because it was in like school supplies. But they have this um, like teal color, oops, sorry, she hit the camera. Um, this nice pink one, and then there's like this purple and like orangey fall color. I thought these would be great. I don't know. I just need to think fall colors. 
So I got those. All right, next I have everything <laughs> compact in this giant green, like lime green bag that I got from thrifting when I was up north. And yeah, this was like in August. It was like our last trip up there before school started for the kids or my son. And um, this was Salvation Army. They had bags and bags full of different laces. And um, my husband told me to take it easy on books, but he didn't say on lace. So um, I tried to like compress them before they were just like crammed in there. But they're only like three, four dollars. So I was trying to be really picky and only get certain ones because I wanted to get them all, which I don't need them all. But I went through them and, you know, actually like sorted them out and everything and folded them up. But isn't that cute? Um, this one was all, you know, has that creamy color to it. This one has two layers, you know, can easily take apart. Um, what's this one? Yeah, a lot of them were like this with the, you know, I don't like them crunched up like this being and but, you know, it's easy to take apart. But they were really nice. And then they had like all these type ones in here. I like those ones. A little like crochet. More flowers. And little pieces here and there. This one, this one looks old. I like this. That even look good folded in half on a page. On an edge of a page. Really interesting. Could thread a ribbon through there too. Or I can just cut this down and have two pieces. And then have this on the edge of the page, you know. Is my camera not focused? There we go. You know. So, like, imagine this wasn't there. And just have that on the edge of the page. So I can get, like, double the use out of that. <laughs> Sweet pea. She's playing with the flowers. And then this really thick one I thought was nice. That'd be nice for a pocket. Oops, it's the back of it. Here's the front of it. Yeah, they kind of had like a color concept going. Like they had blues together. But this one had these colors in it. So I'm like, that's easy to dye and everything. And I'm not huge into these, but you know, they're easy to take apart. There's more of that. There's so much layer going on there. This one had a little bit of a different design to it. Different flower. And that's one, one layer, yeah. That's the back of it, actually. I twisted that up backwards. But it had really cute flowers, too, you know, I can cut out. You know, I don't have to use the whole thing as is. This is really rough, but, um, be cute on the edge of a page. I like it small like that. That I don't mind, being small. I just don't like those huge ones like that. And, yeah, here's more. This is really nice. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's quite a bit in there. It's like almost like that itself was worth it. Um, more of that. More of this one. The crocheting looking one. It's like they were getting ready to like make these into the ruffle. This one's nice. Is that pretty? I got so much lace now. Yeah, so that was one bag. Um, this bag was only two fifty, but it had different colors. It's not the best quality, you know. It's that hard stuff. But I don't have any red, and you know, it had some decent, you know, flower to it. It was kind of pretty. I do like this one. It's got a needle in it, and you know, I can cut that in strips and everything. Um, these were actually in those plastic you know things and I was downsizing because I had to haul everything back home um it actually had more of this crochet in there had this cute little eyelet in here which isn't bad sorry the little one's playing with a bag I'm sorry about the crinkles I know not everyone likes crinkles um and then it has this really nice purple I don't have any purple and then it had these two different blue, shades of blue in there too so for 250 I thought that wasn't too bad and then this one was 
four dollars and this was on that giant plastic things too you know those big you know like this and they're wrapped around you know at like joann's and stuff and i took that off i didn't want any of those but this looks like little suns or sun or daisies and um what's this one got? this one's got like eyelets on it got a little flowers it's not the best quality though it has the scallop bottom which is nice but this work on here isn't the best but it is cute then you go back in this one is very light and it's got little cute little like scallops on the bottom would you consider that tatting or is that just crochet but it has little dots on there I thought that one was really cute um, I had this one on it which isn't bad this one has nice little flowers on the bottom I like the little dots dotted scallop going on and then I have a bunch of this which is really rough I'm not huge over this but, um, you know, it's very white. It would have to be dyed. And I'll take this off. But, yeah, it's very rough. But I have a bunch of it. <laughs> I just, like, broke the thing and was able to slide it off. <laughs> oh, and this was um, one of the stickers on there. On that plastic thing that was holding the lace. I thought that was kind of interesting, so I kept that. I think this was the last bag that I got from there because this one had blues in it and one of them had this strip of zebra which actually will come in handy because I will need that because I'm doing like safari stuff but this one was only two dollars and it had all these blues in it um this one made me think because of the shininess made me think of mermaids yes sweet pea this one had blue and white on it and then it had two parts of this which is actually really cute and I like this like dusty blue going on. It's quite nice. So yeah I got that. And this is a little bag of lace I got at a different thrift store for 75 cents. Um, but yeah it's really cute. Just little simple laces. This one's more cream colored. It's different. Unique. I think this was like extra part cut off. You know, like the end of something. And that's more of it. It seems like they liked what was in the center. And these are like the two ends of it. That's what I was thinking. Um, this one's very fine. But it's smaller, so I don't mind it being like this. You know, and it's a cream color. And then this one is very white, so this one will have to be like dyed. But um, I think this one had hearts. Yeah, this one's got little hearts on it. Really cute. For 75 cents, that wasn't bad. This was only 75 cents as well. And it's like, um, it's like the ruffle. I haven't even opened this yet. I need scissors. Yeah, this has that, uh, it's like a navy blue tassel to it. And then, you know, they still have this part sewn so it can be compressed and everything for packing. But once you take it off, you know. It's really pretty actually. I like the navy blue. I don't have any. So that's nice. I love how they package this. It says eight yards. And it's this ribbons. And they took like a little piece out so you can feel it and see it and everything. What it all is. And I got it for two dollars. But like how adorable is that? You know? So yeah. I got that. And then this. I can't remember. It's... 68 by 12 two dollars oh there was this one of those curtain thingies yeah this one had little geese on it how cute oops sorry I hit the camera um how stinking cute is this sorry the sun is now coming out it's early in the morning <clears throat> well not early early it's nine o'clock already but they even got little hearts and they got little ribbons around them, like, they're just so cute. Sorry, I've got baby in one hand and trying to do this with my other hand. It's very hard. Um, but yeah, and it just keeps going and going and going. And it's actually kind of soft. It's not super hard or anything. And it's cream colored. It's not white, white. So that would be so cute for a farm <laughs> journal. The, here's some fabrics I got. They're, they from two different St. Vincent. One's from one town, one's from the other. Um... This is the one where I got all the bags of lace. But they had like some scraps or whatever. And I really like the color the colors going on here. The fall colors going on. I thought that was really cute. It's got like a what a, what would you say, two inch, inch and a half strip. And then like, here's some more of it. 
Isn't that cute for fall colors? But I really wanted this giraffe because of doing safari stuff. I like, I need stuff like that. And then I also love this. Oh, it's actually soft. Um, but yeah, look at the little fibers in it. Like that's great for fall as well. And there's a nice mount on there. That could actually be for a small cover. Um, so yeah, I love this. Actually, I might use this with my lion. I gotta keep that off my lion journal. But yeah, this will be for the uh, cheetah one. Because the lion one, I'm doing all lion. The cheetah, I'm doing like all safari animals. And then there's a tiger, which I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do more fun, jungle, bright colors, I think. That's what I have in mind. I want to do them all different in their own way. Um, then I found this one, was, which is supposedly an apron panel. So it's like the panel to make an apron out of it for $2. And I didn't even open it to see it yet, but it looks so cute because I saw farm animals on here. Like I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, how perfect is this? It's like a whole page right there for a farm journal. And it's got sunflowers, a little cow, geese, and that looks kind of like Holly Hobby. And look at the quilt going on. And there's like a million staples in this. Oh my gosh. Let me take the staples out. Oh my goodness. This is too cute. Like literally it's like they already got the sewing like around it. So it's like ready to go. Look at this. It's like a whole scene. Look at this guy with the horse and the hay. Oh, I know, sweet pea. You want to be up here too. There's a barn chicken. There's a robin there. She's hanging up the quilt. So it's a mom and a daughter. There's a rooster on a stump. And then these sunflowers and these sheep and the goat like literally is that any more cute and it's got this all the way around it and then it also came with these two strips you know actually is it three should have three yeah to tie around and it's got little geese on there this would be cute for like a fall themed farm journal like because of the colors with the sunflowers and you know this like burnt red color like how much more adorable can that be that was so worth it and what was it two dollars yeah that is so cute love it this one says one panel it says 16 something level levels i don't know but it says i got for two dollars but it was like one of those fabric scrapbooks again I couldn't believe it and I got it from the same store as that last one that matched that paper that I found so it has all these little parts to like cut out at least that's what I think it is let me unfold this okay so it's like all like frames and like little scenes here's like a circular one and then when when this you see, remember me. How cute are those? When this you see, remember me. Is that what it says on all of them? Elegant quilt labels. Okay. Have you ever seen that before? Isn't that cute? Oh, here's like a little book. How adorable is that? So, yep, I got that. And then the price of this one, the sticker came off, so I don't know how much this was. But I'm sure it was, wasn't was much. It was probably just a dollar. But here is um, it, a square that looks like a quilt, you know, so they're already ready for you. But how cute would this be? I think they made this actually for a pillow because there's two of them. So, you know, you got the front and the back. But how pretty is this and how perfect that would be for a cover? like and just have this as the cover and then you can use this strip here for the tie around how perfect would that be so yeah this makes it look like it's quilted but it's like for like making a pillowcase here is some more fabric that i got it's like a creamy color with these really pretty flowers all around it and i even love this extra piece of fabric that they use to tie around it it actually feels like silk um but this sorry I keep getting these hiccups um <laughs> here we go again um it was a 350 their prices have been going up on fabric like the lady that does this at this thrift store like she really knows her quality on fabric and everything so and like 
um, whenever there's any type of linen, quilt, uh, you know, um, lace and everything, like doilies are like, have been going up, which is sad, but um, you can see the difference between the colors. But isn't that so pretty? Yeah, had to get that. And then I don't know if you remember, but I did a haul from Michaels and they were making, because I want to make my own um, paper out of all the scraps and everything that I have. And they had this, it's like specialty pulp to do that with. So I thought, how cool would this be to have some of these blues in with the paper that I have? So I thought that would be really cool. Oh, what sweet pea. And yeah, it was only a dollar. So I got that. And then, um, I can't remember what this was with. This was with something. But they're little device and they had the clear parts so you can put label them. Um, I came with something and I took it out and I put it in this book so it wouldn't get bent up on our travel back home. And then I put all these cards in here so they wouldn't get beat up either. Um, but yeah, they just had some really cute little cards there, like, and they're blank. And then this was the cover or the envelope for it. How adorable is that? Those go together. Here's a little thank you one. A little envelope for it. That's blank. Um, this one's really cute too. Look at those little flowers. I can't remember, were these ones in a bag or did I get no I got these ones separately. I love this duck. Um, I can't remember what it said. It's wood something duck. Yes, yeah, so gorgeous. So I have to use that for a fall woodland journal. And it has that feeling like it feels like water paper. And then I keep finding everything polar bears. So I had to get this and I liked it because it was like cut like that. It's shaped like that. So that's why I had to get that. And it came with this little envelope, which I don't know if that's the original one for it, but it's cute. Yes, yeah, sweet pea. And then this one was really cute because it had the teddy bear and it's like embossed. Like how adorable is that? So that'd be good. I do have stuff to do a teddy bear journal. And so that would be perfect for that. If not for like a baby journal. And then it has a little bit of pink in there and it has this envelope to go with it. And then this one was just super pretty. This is a little thank you one. I love the flowers and I love that green. So yeah, those are some cards I got. I think they were like, gosh, I can't remember. It was less than a quarter. And then I got this cute book. It was so funny. It was a dollar though, but I just could not stop laughing because it has all these birds dressed up with like hats and stuff on and like bonnets and bows like I was just I was laughing looking at this the whole way through like I don't know if I'm gonna use this for a journal or what but I just could not stop laughing this was illustrated in 1996 like look at these birds they are hilarious and I do like this whimsical font going on I just I, I loved it and see this is really nice too it's like the ducks and geese heading south for winter. They were just so adorable. Look at him with his little hat and her with her bonnet. Like, and they even love all these leaves and everything going on. And there's a giant pumpkin. It's good for fall. Ooh, that makes me think of Charlie Brown, the, um, the great pumpkin. Oh my gosh. Now I need to find that book and just have that in with it. But yeah, it was just the painting just cracked me up. Look at the woodpecker with his hat. Oh my goodness. All these fancy hats. Look at Mr. Peacock. I have no idea what the story is, but oh my gosh. Look at him. <laughs> but the birds. <laughs> I love them. But the people look like hillbilly thing going on. I don't know. But they got like teeth things. What in the world is going on in this story? I don't get it. And oh, this pretty feather. I don't know. I just really like the birds. They were just hilarious. Oh, look at the little hummingbird with her little hat. She is so adorable. Oh, and like all these flowers on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, look at all them. How pretty would that be? That, look at that whole page right there. Like, how gorgeous is that? 
Oh, this is like a cloud blowing. Or is that who's blowing all their hats off? The breeze? I don't know. There's even bats. What in the world? But it was just, it was just too cute. Oh, look at that deer. That's gorgeous. I like how like the birds are the only ones with hats. And look at that doggy. I don't know. It was just too cute. I, I had to get it. It was so funny. Oh, and look at all those feathers on there. That'd be good for a bird journal. <laughs> all right, here's another book. This is for your retirement. 99 cents, but I love... Okay, first of all, look at those flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? And then um, the cover's not bad, actually. And I'm trying to remember the year on this. Yeah, whoever retired in 1979, I think that was all the information, but they had so many pretty pictures in here. Sweetie, that's my earring. Um, copyright 1977. Whoa, she is squirming all over the place. All right, sit down. There we go. Um, but yeah, they had gorgeous pictures in here. Have little quotes and sayings. Is an apple a great for fall? The same as the cover. See some flowers. It's like watercolor farm. Seat. No, sweetie, she just tore my paper thing that I used to cover my desk. Ah! She is a little stinker. But yeah, so that was worth it. I thought. Okay. I gave her to her dad. I'm like, you need to put up with her. She's being handled. She literally tore, because I got this poster that I used to cover my desk with, and she literally tore it. <laughs> Little stinker. Um, but yeah, here's some like um, patterns, you know, you heat iron transfers. And I thought, I hope that these are actually in there because it would be really pretty if so. And even this packaging is really cute. Although, this, sadly, this... These stickers are right over it. It looks like a little girl, maybe, and there's a little kit in there. I'm like, that'd be so cute. But still, it's be like a nice pocket inside of a journal. It looks like it. Oh, yeah. So, we'll see how much we'll transfer onto here. Oh, how pretty. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got some more excited. But there's little dogs, kittens. There's a duck and a bear. Um, these beautiful flowers, and then these butterflies in the middle. How cute is that? And you know, could iron that onto cotton fabric and try stitching it myself. I haven't done that. Those are so pretty and cute and adorable. And then I was able to find another one of these books. I think these are so cool. These are the ones where they have the clear parts in it. These are for endangered animals, which I can't remember if I have this the same one or not. No, I don't. Because I have, I do have ones that are on endangered animals. These ones look more like ones that are extinct. Because um, they have these, these clear parts where, you know, you see them here and then you transfer them here, what kind of environment they live in. Maybe it is this one I got. Okay, I got one with line on it, and I'm using it for my journal. See, there's the bear, wolf, seals, snow leopard, pandas. They're just so fun. Yep, I do have this one because I used this in there. So I could keep this out. So now I got two of them now. So that's cool. I just think they're fun. They're really interesting. And they are super glossy. You know, they're almost plasticky feeling. But Look how adorable that sea turtle is. Like, honestly. Can't say no to these. So, yeah. Got that. Um, I got these index cards, like, dividers for 75 cents. And they're three things of the months. And, oh, this was actually in a uh, different language. What language is that in? So, it's English and then the back. I don't know. I didn't realize that, but I do like the color of it. Is that that's not French, is it? No. Jean, Jean is that is that French? Mars? Jean Vier? I don't know. I never, my school didn't have French classes. We only had German. Um, we had some Spanish, but then she got laid off, and then they hired two different 
foreign language teachers, a German one and a Chinese one, and we were able to choose. So I'm German, so I thought, why not learn German? <laughs> um, I found these cute doilies. There's like two packages of them for 99 cents. They're really nice because they got... Um, I like it when the center is detailed too instead of just the edging. Oh no, this got taped on. Ah, okay. But can you see the details in there? Like that is so pretty. All these little paper doilies. They're very detailed. I like detailed ones like this. And so I got two of those. So this part hasn't even been opened. There's 20 in there. And then however many's left in there, which looks like possibly 20 because there's a lot in there so 99 cents that was worth it and then i got this bag for a dollar with all these fun colorful um fall leaves and i did i downsized it i took the plastic parts on it because it was like uh like a garland thing and i did not want the plastic because i want to use these leaves individually and plus they had these beading like ones which i love using and scrapbook they have like these little foam stuff in it and so yeah and they had such a variety of sizes of these like maple leaves and stuff so and all these fun bright colors than just a solid color like I normally get at like Dollar Tree and so that's why I really liked them and they have different shapes of different trees instead of just the typical maple leaf so yeah and I took all them off look at this bright orange there's like reds there's more of those little foam leaves or foam like berries or whatever they're supposed to be yeah and it's um fabric you know that cheap fabric fake leaves so yeah that was fun and then these pretty flowers were in there apparently I didn't take them off I don't know why toss this I don't need this or maybe I was saving that for something. I don't know. I'll keep that in there just for now. Yes, I got that for a dollar. Um, I got this for... I can't remember if this was half price or not. It was at Dollar Tree. But, um... It's weird how they're under jewelry. I don't know why it would be under jewelry. But it has amounts of water and everything. So, um, I thought I could use this for inks and for my fishies and stuff. The little suction thingies. I don't know what you call them. But yeah, and see, it even has the measurements and everything. And then I got this lace for $1.99. It's really nice, or at least it looks really nice. I like the color of it, so I thought this would be great for big pockets in journals. Look at that. And you know, I can always break it down. You know, I can always just use this part right here and stuff. That is really nice. I like that. There's a decent amount in there, so, yeah. Okay, I still have so much to get in this giant green bag. This is, like, I only got, like, half of it. There's still a bunch in here. There's still, like, lace. There's, like, a quilt in here. Some more doilies. Some random stuff and stuff. So, I'm going to do a part two. So, this will be part one. So, stay tuned. And I will share this as soon as I can. T hope you liked it. If so, give it a thumbs up. And I will talk to you later. Bye.